Hello. Thursday brought an east-west split to the UK weather-wise. Well, certainly in terms of where we had the blue sky and where we had the grey sky. Across parts of eastern Scotland and down the eastern side of England, uh, some were treated to a largely sunny day from dawn until dusk, where it was the reverse across some western areas. A view from Wales, cloudy from dawn until dusk. It's the cloud that's going to win out for Friday and the weekend. High pressure, lots of settled weather to come, but trapped underneath this high pressure, plenty of cloud. Hi both, nice to see you both. Uh, we have high pressure in charge of things at the moment, everyone, and uh, essentially that means that we have a dry, settled story both today and over the weekend as well. We have some mist and fog patches around. We've had some weather watchers pictures of that in already. And actually some of this could be quite slow to clear as we head through the day. Let's have a look at the headline then. There we go, mainly cloudy, but it's a dry story. I was allowed to ask Matt about White Christmas. Well, you were or you weren't allowed? I was. You was. Usually you guys don't let us ask. Well, you know, because a White Christmas is a funny one, isn't it? Because all you need is meteorological. Like two drops of snow. Yeah. And then it's a white Christmas. Is that your way of not telling me if it's going to be a white Christmas? <laughs> well, with that Same in mind, um, I, with that in mind, we could get we could get a white Christmas. Same I'm going to leave you both with that. Tease. Thank you so much. Thanks both. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you want what? something to cheer you up? What? Something uh, beautiful. Anytime I see Owen, look, 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 it cheers me up. Look, well, I will go to Owen in a moment, but first I want to show you. <laughs> oh what's wow! Yes. Yeah, yes. so what a view. So this is the view we have out, outside our building here on Salford Quays. Mm. Gorgeous sunrise, absolutely gorgeous. Oh. And I tell you what, Owen, we've had so many pictures, haven't we, yeah. of sunrises? And I was reading something about um, the reason that they're so stunning at the moment is because of the clouds, the amount of cloud yes. in the sky. That's right. It's it's called Rayleigh scattering when you see the kind of you know red sky at night, red sky at morning sort of thing, like what we can see there outside. And why this happens is, of course, sunlight is made up of all of the different colours of the spectrum. They're all kind of mixed together to make white light. And you can just kind of see there just where the sun is rising, you know, the kind of the colours are a bit darker or, or brighter, really. And we've had loads of those gorgeous pictures. So we're having a lot of that at the moment. As I said, you know, the kind of colours all mixed together, that makes white light is a very simple way of kind of putting it. And when the sun is low in the sky, it actually grazes more of the atmosphere. Now, the blue wavelengths are short and kind of squiggly, whereas the red colours, the red wavelengths are long and sleek, if you like. So that means that more of those red colours essentially make it through. And when we have certain types of cloud in the sky or particles, they reflect that colour, which is why we see skies like this so there we go right let's have a look at the old uh, weather forecast then there's your headline for the weekend it's going to be dry it's going to be cloudy there's some mist and fog out there first thing if you heard someone giggling there it's Owen over there you Sorry. better make sure you're word perfect Owen in just a moment when we come to you <laughs> do you has, know what has it that happens, ever happened it, 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 it <laughs> happens to us all it, i'm gonna i'm gonna save you with a gorgeous image to take oh, your words oh Ooh. oh look at there the, you oh, go stunning we showed the sunrise earlier this morning and that was beautiful mm. we had that lovely pink hue didn't we on the horizon yes. and you were explaining about rayleigh scattering mm. clouds and then this the sun coming up now. Absolutely, it, it looks like it's going to be a lovely day in Salford Keys. That high pressure that you've been talking about. High pressure. Making an impact. Yeah, it is, absolutely. I listen yeah. to you, stumbles ten, and all. I'm going to say 10 out of 10 yeah. on the listening to the what? weather forecast. Too little, too late, oh, I too <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, apologies. Uh, we were chatting about uh, the, the sunrise and now I was saying, you know, the sky is lovely and red. It's really scattering. The, so essentially sunlight is made up of all of the colours of the spectrum mixed together to make white light. I'm chatting more about this over on Twitter, actually. The blue wavelengths are short and squiggly, which is why we get a blue sky. The red wavelengths are long and sleek. When the sun is low in the sky, it kind of grazes more of the atmosphere and then it scatters more of that. So the red ones get through, essentially, which is why we see the redder skies and scenes like that. Gorgeous. Right, let's have a look at the weather forecast then. We're having some lovely weather watchers pictures coming in of the sunrise this morning and some mist as well because we do have some of that around. And the headline for the weekend shows that it'll be pretty cloudy and dry. It will be turning a bit cooler as well. But where we see those clear skies, of course, overnight it'll remain chilly. Speaking of, this is what's happening next in the weather forecast. We're going to be turning our eyes towards this colder air which is moving towards us. Now, this starts to influence our weather as we head through next week. Look at that. Temperatures sliding away, turning chilly. Also a bit less settled due to next week, potentially. Beautifully delivered. Thank you. Marks out of ten. Thanks very much, Owen. <laughs>
<laughs> Time now is 8.50, so...